whole pitcher of these, Miss Lane. You sure you won't partake? I'm working. Well, not for a few hours, you're not. But technically, this place is still closed, so why don't you slap this back on the front door? Come kick your feet up for a bit. No, thank you. Oh, come on. Won't make me drink alone. You too. Way too much of that at home. And now, thanks to the mayor board, I have to look at my little brother's constipated face while I do it. But this face here, I can get used to. Listen, I have a million things to do, and I don't really have time to stand around here talking to you, so... You're not going to kick me out of here, are you? How about you promise to behave yourself, and I will try to ignore you? How does that work? I can be, uh, quite difficult to ignore. Ah, this is so relaxing. Do you ever relax, Miss Lane, or are you always this uptight? I am not uptight. I am perfectly relaxed, in fact. I just don't feel like standing around drinking and schmoozing with you. What's the matter? Sure, you might get a little tipsy and divulge your deepest, darkest secrets, only to be tortured by humiliation and regret? Or are you afraid that you might actually enjoy yourself? and have to report to people that I'm good company, witty and charming, and adore being ostracized for having such an unpopular opinion of me. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I'm afraid of both those things, especially the latter. I was very attracted, you know, to overcome your fears. <laughs> come on, come on, be brave. Okay, fine. I will have one drink with you. That's what it will take to get you off my back. There you go. No, actually, we have 